When I first graduated college, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I had gotten a bachelor's in English, mostly just because I really enjoyed it and I loved reading, um, but I wasn't really particularly drawn in any other direction. Um, I was a little bit lost in terms of my career trajectory, so I did what I think a lot of college grads do and I got a job in the hospitality industry. Um, or actually, I'd already been working in the hospitality industry, but I continued to. At the time, I was like 20 something and the money was great for me. I enjoyed it well enough and um, I was good at it. Um, so I just sort of stayed, got a few promotions. I was managing a bar um, and before I knew it, I'd been doing it for way longer than I'd ever anticipated I was gonna do it for. So ultimately I'm super grateful for my experiences in hospitality before I discovered data. Um, I think it's really shaped my work ethic and helped me to become a lot stronger in customer facing roles, uh, it's really sharpened my communication skills. It's given me a lot of skills that um, I know I'll use for the rest of my career. So when I started to learn about the importance of data and how it's used in the world today, and I was introduced to Springboard, I was super excited to make that shift. I, like many other people, was out of a job for some time, so I began working as a contact tracer. For COVID-19, I was on the contact tracing team, so I didn't have too many hands-on experiences with data, but I uh, did have a lot of interaction with the data teams um, in that role, and I began to be able to appreciate um, all that data and data teams bring to the table. It was constantly um, just a input feedback process of updating what we knew and what we were telling people. And I was really fascinated seeing that process and seeing how quickly the data teams were able to ingest information and then turn it into actionable insights, which is like such a catch-all phrase these days, but I not really sure what else to call it. One of the biggest lessons for me in that role was what the truth of data actually is, which is never anything concrete. It's constantly shifting. It's constantly vulnerable to interpretability, to context, to perspective. I find that really fascinating too, that you can take the same set of data and depending on where you're looking at it from, it's it can mean completely different things. I had been in the hospitality industry a lot longer than I ever wanted to be. Um, I knew I wanted to do something else. I knew I probably wanted to go back to school or um, just learn a new skill. And it was a series of seemingly random experiences at the beginning of the pandemic that led me down the data path. I think probably the biggest misconception I had before Springboard and even through part of Springboard was a misconception about how the data comes in, which was, I thought the role of, of a data scientist, either machine learning scientist, was very much to analyze data and to create some product with the data, whether that's another piece of information or a physical product. But so much, if not most, of the job is really in just taking data that doesn't really make a lot of sense, is really dirty and uh, needs a lot of work and turning it into something you're even able to to work with and that's really begun to sink in especially as i've started to work npd is a uh, market research and, and analysis company uh, we do a lot of work with uh, general merchandise and consumer packaged goods um, so all sorts of industries ranging from like food and beverage to apparel to um, automotive to pretty much anything that consumers can buy um, and then we track trends within the U.S. but also internationally. We have a few different ways of collecting data and so a few different ways of representing the data um, as it is uh, reported from retailers and also consumers, which is a slightly different um, story. It's been a big, big lesson in the importance of data quality, um, data cleaning and data classification, because we deal with huge amounts of data at a time. 
um, that is often very, very messy <laughs> um, and needs a lot of tender loving care. It was great. Raghu was super, super helpful. I definitely think the mentors are one of the most helpful parts of the spring board course. I do know that I would not have uh, made it as far without my mentor because he really shaped sort of how I began to understand some of these concepts. Whenever you're learning something on your own, it's really easy to get led down a rabbit hole of your own sort of like thoughts and, and sometimes incorrect thoughts. But it was really helpful having a mentor to take a third person sort of look at what I was doing and say, you know, pull me out of where I was going wrong and put me on the right track. Thank you.